Hello world, welcome back to Razor RC. I just want to shoot a video about the Traxxas line of vehicles and the calibration of your Traxxas TQI radio. So out of the box, uh, Traxxas doesn't really tell you this, but it's usually not actually calibrated quite right. Uh, these are mass produced uh, over there in Taiwan, I think it is. And uh, out of the factory, um, the vehicles do work, but the calibration is actually not quite right. So I just want to show you um, how to do that with your Traxxas link. Uh, it's possible to do this just with the menu system on your radio. Um, you know, going through all the little lights and flashes and these little buttons up here, but it's quite annoying to do it. It's a thousand times easier with Traxxas link. I do recommend you pick that up if you haven't already. It's like $30, $40 or so. Um, the other reason to use the Traxxas link is that some of the settings, actually the steering endpoints, uh, don't save quite correctly on the radio. It is possible to get them set up right. It's just uh, really, really hard because the setting kind of jumps around and what you think you're setting is actually not what actually gets set to the radio. So uh, you kind of actually have to fake it out a little bit to try to get it set correctly. So I'm just gonna show you the easy way to do this. I do recommend you do this on any Traxxas vehicle, even a brand new one, uh, because I found on most of my Traxxas vehicles that they just are not set quite correctly. And I'm gonna show you kind of the easy way to do that. So uh, pull up your Traxxas link. And you make sure it wants. You want to make sure it's bound correctly to your radio. You should see the blue light there, a solid blue light on your radio. And then on the uh, application itself, you should see the little Bluetooth sign and then the little green uh, radio transmitter. So the first thing you want to do is check out the, all the current settings. So I'm going to go into Garage, and I'm going to go into uh, Channel Setup, and then check out your steering. So as you can see, normally steering is set to sub trim 0%, uh, endpoints 100%. You wanna just leave that right there for now. Check your throttle. It should also be zeroed out, zero at sub trim, 100% uh, brake, brake and throttle. You wanna make sure you have that set up all those correctly first. Go into the drive effects and then uh, so these are these were kind of the default settings on my particular Traxxas Max here. So as you can see, the TSM is set to 50%. That's normal. Um, I actually don't run that at all, and the reason for not running TSM is that uh, when you jump through the air, TSM actually doesn't know that you're in the air and not on the ground. So if you jump through the air and your vehicle is kind of going a little bit sideways or something, it's going to try to steer in the air while you're flying through the air. And what ends up having is it kind of takes over control in the air, kind of whips it in a weird uh, kind of funky moves. And so you're not going to jump like straight and how you think it's going to jump. So the second thing, second reason I don't use TSM is that it tends to understeer on the ground. So it's not as big of a deal on high traction surfaces, but on any sort of low traction surfaces, it won't really let you oversteer at all. It tends to understeer rather than let you spin out. So. Uh, I don't think anybody really needs TSM. Just use your finger and your, you know, hand to control the vehicle, and you, you should be just fine. So, I recommend turning TSM off, but that's obviously a personal preference. Now, the other thing you'll notice is that my throttle trim was actually set to 8.2%. So this is out of the box, and what throttle trim does is actually uh, tell the radio where the neutral is. So when you let go of the trigger, uh, when you let go of this trigger right here and let it go back to the center, um, it's actually gonna put 8.2% to the to the receiver and to the ESC. So it's actually leave the throttle a little bit on. And uh, most ESCs actually have what they call a dead band, which is somewhere around 9%. So anywhere between like zero and 9%, it kind of like uh, filters it out and won't actually drive the car and that's, the reason for that is because most radios actually are not super precise. Even when you let go of the trigger, they might give a little 1%, 2% here or there, maybe negative, one, negative a few percent. So uh, that little dead band will kind of mask it out and filter it out. But uh, it's really not right. And you want to make sure you uh, basically remove that. So drop your throttle trim back down to 0%. Or the easy way is just go to reset defaults. And then you can reset everything. I'll tell you it's resetting it on the radio and then I like to drop the TSM assistance down to 0%. So before you do anything, you want to make sure all your settings like this are set correctly. That was steering, I'm sorry, that was drive effects. So we're good there and now we're ready to actually calibrate the vehicle. So I got my Traxxas Max here plugged in. Okay, so I'm going to turn my Traxxas Max back on 
And then so what you want to do is hold down the button until you see the red light and then let go. So hold down the button, see the red light and then let go. Okay, now you're in uh, ESC calibration mode. Now that we've zeroed everything out, you got to program the receiver and ESC to let it know where those new uh, points are. So it needs to know where neutral is, it needs to know where full throttle is, it needs to know where full brake is. So uh, we've turned it on, it flashed once, and now you, now you hold down full throttle, and it'll flash twice, let go, and then go full brake. It'll flash, you can let go. And then now the uh, ESC has been properly calibrated. And then the next thing we're gonna do is actually the steering calibration. Out of the box, uh, Traxxas sets their radios to do full 100% left and full 100% right steering. Uh, what that actually does is turn the servo 60 degrees. So full left is gonna be 60 degrees, full left. Full right is gonna do another 60 degrees, full right. That's just how servos work and receivers work and stuff like that. So uh, the problem is every car is different and most cars actually can't turn a full 100% left or right because the, the servo arm will basically run into something. So on this particular Traxxas Max, you'll notice, okay, I'm going for the left and you'll hear it kind of straining there. It's kind of groaning because what's happening is that servo is trying to turn the steering further than it's, it's mechanically able to do. So actually the wheels will hit stuff, the servo arm will actually hit some stuff. So you cannot actually get full 100% turning left and right um, because the vehicle is not designed to actually take a full 60 degrees left or right. So you'll hear some groaning there on full left, on full right. Again, you'll hear it straining. That servo is actually just constantly straining. And what that means is when you're driving this vehicle around, uh, having fun at the park or whatever, and you're turning full right, you're actually trying to turn the servo further than it's actually able to go. So there's a servo saver in there that will kind of help protect you from damaging the servo, but that servo is always going to be straining. And you know, if you've ever broken a servo and wondered why, well, a big part of that is probably because you never set the endpoints on your server. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with the Traxxas Link system. Really simple to do, but something you definitely wanna do on any uh, RC vehicle, especially a uh, Traxxas vehicle that aren't set quite right out of the box. Easy way to do that is just flip it over. And so you can see our wheels right there. Go into your Traxxas Link, uh, go back into the garage here, and then channel setup, and then steering. As you can see, sub trim, zero, left, right 100%. So uh, the first thing you want to do is set your sub trim and that's basically going to set your center point uh, to make sure your car goes straight. Uh, mine actually goes straight on 0% so I'm just going to leave it like that but if you find it wandering a little bit left or wandering a little bit right uh, you know go ahead and just adjust that if you you know if it's wandering left turn up the right a little bit if it's running right uh, turn up the left a little bit whatever you need to do just to get to go straight. So I'm going to set mine to 0% because um, that's how it goes straight. And then what you do is take your radio and then turn the wheels fully left and then hit the endpoint, left endpoint button and uh, keep holding it down until you see the wheels just turn a little bit. Okay, it's turning. So 70% it'll turn. turn, keep turning it up. As long as those wheels are turning, keep increasing a little bit. We're at 83%, 84, 85, 86, 87, still okay. So somewhere around, actually this can go past 100%. So on this particular vehicle, you can actually go past 60 degrees on one side. 120 is gonna be too high, 109. until it stops turning. So you, I don't know if you can catch this up on camera, but the wheels are turning a little bit. And about 113%, well, right there, about 112%, it'll just barely move. So you don't hear the servo straining. The wheels actually were still turning. Maybe we'll turn it down a little bit. Okay, there, it's not straining and uh, the wheels are still turning right there. So we're gonna leave that at 111%. And when we go full right, it's straining. It's actually too much. And you just 
just want to set it until the wheels basically uh, don't move anymore. So 73% is not enough. You can crank that up a little bit. Somewhere around 87, 84, 85, so 80, right there. It just barely moved and that's pretty much as far as it can go left or right. Actually left still a little too much. You don't want it straining at all. Okay, so we got this fully calibrated. So it ended up being 110% on the left side, 83.7 on the right side. You just want to set it so the last point where the wheels will actually turn and then no more. And then when you go full left, full right, uh, it should not be straining. You shouldn't hear that servo whining. If it is, then you actually have it set up too high. So as you can see, this is nothing close to the original settings of 100%. To get full left, I actually had to crank up the endpoint a little bit higher than stock, so I had to go up to 110%. And then to, the, the right hand side was actually set too high. 100% is too much, and I had to back it down to 83.7% so that it was not uh, straightening that servo. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. How to calibrate your Traxxas out of the box uh, using the Traxxas link. A lot easier if you get the app and hook it up to your phone. Um, well worth buying. And uh, yeah, this should actually help protect your servo a little bit because it's not overextending and it also gets you full steering throw left and right so you're getting maximum steering on both sides. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notifications button. Look for more videos soon and thanks for watching.